My name is Dan Schmidt. I do a weekly television show called Team Chicago Challenge. We're at Miller Motorsport Park located in Utah. We're a few miles from the Great Salt Lake, about 14 miles from Salt Lake City. This is a beautiful facility. Let's see what happens. The Weir of National Endurance. Let's see who's fast on this three mile road course, Miller Motorsport Park with the Weir on National Endurance. Remember, my website is uh, teamchicago.tv. What well, 11:30 Mountain Time? The green flag flew to start the Bridgestone Weir on National Endurance Miller Motorsport Park as the teams charge down this 4,000-foot front straightaway. Up front looks like 308 is taking an early lead. 308 is Team DSGP. Right with them is Biggin. That is. Tim Bemisdorf on that Billy Eckridge racing Suzuki back and forth. The third place looks like the Yamaha, the 1000 Yamaha. That's bike number 417 fly by night. Three 1000 motorcycles trying to make a break. Also out there, second in points is TVA racing, but TVA racing is only on a 600. They're not on that R1 that they normally race, but they are battling for the championship this year, 2011. Bridgestone Weir, a national endurance series. Up front, it looks like that team, BSGP on the 1000 Honda is taking the lead. Tim Bemisdorfer on that Billy Eckrich Racing Suzuki, the Yamaha fly by night as they head over to the Attitude Corners on this three-mile road course. We are just west of Salt Lake City and a little bit south of the Great Salt Lake. At the end of the first lap, up front is Team BGGP on the Honda, number 308. The Yamaha is moved into second place. Looks like that's fly-by-night and at 1,000 Yamaha, Billy Eckrich. Is running in third place on the 1000 Suzuki. Baby Apple seat on the 750 Suzuki and Code 4 Racing also on a 750 Suzuki running in fourth and fifth place as we see the second place SC97 go flashing by. That is Sonic Death Monkeys at the top of the first hour. Tim Bemisdorfer is on that Billy Eckridge Racing Dunlop Tires has established the lead. They are now leading at the one hour point in the pits. It's Team BSGP. They are running second place at the top of the first hour. Baby Appleseed is running in third place. Code 4 is running in fourth. The Yamaha was in the pits. That is fly by night. They have dropped down to sixth place. Psycho Kitty is running in fifth place. As we see this 1000 Yamaha go flashing by, leading in the middleweight superbike class. It is Paragon Racing, they're running 13th overall, leading the middleweight superbike class, leading that lightweight superbike class is 166, that is TOBC Racing on the SC, Suzuki, 97, Sonic Death Monkeys is running second in that lightweight class, TWF, also on a Suzuki SV, is running third in that class. Running fifth overall and leading that trophy class, it is Psycho Kitty Racing on that 1000 Suzuki, sponsored by Graves Motorsport, EBC, and Pirelli. But this sign says it all. Philly Eckert Racing, Dunlop Tires is out front. They are leading. They got a great cushion as we see Brian Stokes has reached the halfway point. Brian is leading, and earlier I had a chance to talk to Billy Eckert and Tim Bemisdorfer. Let's go to that right now. Uh, it's going to be a uh, high speed, long lap, so it's going to be hard to pe put people a lap down. Uh, so I think everybody will stay pretty close in the overall time. So our main goal is just to try to get a lap as soon as we can on everybody and uh, have that little bit of a cushion. So it, it's a nice facility. Um, I just, it's just not a uh, big guy track friendly, we'll say, you know, for the long straightaway. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do what we got. 
see how it goes. Uh, the trick's the new uh, Dunlop Intec uh, US made slick. Uh, we're doing the development for it, and the tire's been working wonderful. Uh, great. Can't, hadn't had one problem out of the tire in uh, the whole season so far. Been doing pretty good with it. Um, you know, obviously, Dunlop is helping us out with some tires and trying some new American slicks that they've been uh, developing, and uh, they seem to be working pretty good for us. And... Yes, I've uh, tested for Maxxis and Michelin before, so uh, I've tested you know, quite a few tires in my day. You know, with Billy prepping the bike, the bike uh, works very well right now. At the halfway point in this race, second place is Baby Appleseed, 228, and he had 750 Suzuki. Third place is 417, that is Fly By Night, and he had R1 Yamaha. Fourth place is TVR 131, he had Phil Calder on the bike right now. TVR 131, they're on a 600 Suzuki, MotoHeaven.com, TrustRockets.com, MotoHeaven. Bill Caldwell, TVR Racing, running in fourth place. As we see, fifth place now, check this. Paragram Racing, 58 comes by, they are in seventh place. They are leading the lightweight superbike class. Check that, middleweight superbike class. And the lightweight superbike class is now 191 TWS Racing. They have moved up to first place in the lightweight Superbike class, they are fifth overall. As we get to the final point of the race, we got about 30 minutes left in the race. Billy Eckridge racing is back in the pit for a tire change. Billy Eckridge is going to be getting on the bike to finish this race off. Billy Eckridge racing sponsored by Dunlop, Owen, Pitbull, Vesva, Thermos Man, Votex, TD, Joey, and RK as Billy Eckridge goes out to finalize the battle. Miller Motorsport Park, the Bridgestone Weir, a national challenge, six hours of racing at Miller. Billy Eckridge heading out with a comfortable lead, running in um, eighth place, and second in that lightweight superbike class is 97. 417 on the Yamaha 1000 is running second place overall, second place in the heavyweight superbike class. 97 is running in Second in class at Sonic Death Monkeys. As we see, 119 battling with 350. 2, 119 is TWF Racing. They are leading that lightweight superbike class, seventh overall. 352 has dropped back to 12th overall, but they still lead in the sportsman class. As we see, 131, it is TVR Racing coming flashing five. They are fifth place in class and fifth place overall heavyweight superbike. 58 is Peregrim Racing. They are sixth overall at this point, and they are leading first place in the middleweight superbike class. Fourth overall, moving up is Baby Appleseed, 228, fourth in class, full fourth place overall. Number 16, Code 4 Racing, is third place in class and third place overall. Fly by night racing number 417 is running second place overall. So it's Billy Eckridge, Dunlap first, fly by night, code four, baby apple seed, TVR 131, as we see fly by night go flash by on an R1 Yamaha. Sixth place is Peregrim Racing, TWF on the SV is running seventh, Sonic Death Monkeys on the SV is running eighth, Team Kinetic 27 is running ninth, and TOBC. 166 is running in 10th place as a checkered flag flies at 5.30 Mountain Time. Billy Eckridge Racing comes flashing by on the Billy Eckridge Racing. That's Billy Eckridge on the bike, Dunlop tires, down to the wire. Peregrim got by. TVR 131, but when the checkered flag flew, the race immediately ended, but they chased them down. That was a personal victory. As Billy Eckridge comes back in the pit, Billy Eckridge races to pick it up the win. Dunlop tires, Owen, Pitbull, Vesra, Thermos Band, Botex, TD, Showy, and RK. For more information, go to Wira, www.wira.com. Don't forget the Team Chicago website at teamchicago.tv. That's right, Billy, teamchicago.tv. As we see Matthias 
Jerzyk. Funding for the show is brought to you by Bell Helmets, RP Active Sports, West Bend, Wisconsin.